This is the town of Bhaktapur. For tens of thousands of Nepalese, their homes ended up like this. The first virtual reality film that we did was this Nepal earthquake film. We sent our co-founder to the ground zero after the earthquake. He came back with this incredible 360 footage of the disaster in Bhaktapur and in Kathmandu. The first time that I really realized the potential that this technology had to create empathy and beyond empathy to create engagement was when I brought that video home for my parents. Both of them, after they watched the film, took the headset off and were in tears. Virtual reality has been one of the most exciting technologies to come around in a long time. It brings people directly to far off places or places in crisis so that they can experience firsthand what that looks like. As a war correspondent, as a crisis correspondent myself, I've really always struggled to show the scale of devastation after a disaster, right? And there's something about standing in the streets in Kathmandu, for instance, after the earthquake, of seeing how big the actual destruction was. That's hopefully an important moment to get somebody to take action, to get involved, to make a donation. This is a virtual reality camera right here. Six GoPros on a 3D printed case. So it's really almost strung together. Then we take those images and in post-production we stitch them together. As the technology increases and gets better and better and better, the distribution will look more like just anybody with a phone and a YouTube or a Facebook account will be able to enjoy it. The process of distributing it is where it gets a little bit tricky because not a ton of people have headsets yet. Um, but I do think that 2016 especially is going to be the year that most people will have access to some sort of a headset. But we think that this is the technology of the future.